Good morning and welcome back to Apple Park. iPhone 13 looks stunning and iPhone 13 Pro in a sophisticated new alpine green. Fewer things are as American as Apple Pie, lack of healthcare, and Apple releasing a new iPhone every year. But what if we told you that Apple has decided to cancel the release of its new flagship iPhone, the iPhone 14? Would you be shocked, surprised, or not care at all? Well, you don't have to answer that because it's not happening. By which I mean Apple cancelling the iPhone 14 and not that the iPhone 14 is not going to be released. However, this thought experiment does make us curious. Would it be better if Apple does cancel the iPhone 14? By which we mean not release new versions of their flagship smartphone for the year 2022. Now, there are a couple of reasons I can think of why it would be better for Apple if they decided not to release the new iPhone this year. To start off, it would be refreshing if Apple decided to break the monogamy of releasing a new iPhone every year, especially when the one released the previous year isn't that different from the new one they are releasing. We all know Apple tries to innovate each year and works to make a jump in the design or software or the layout of the iPhone with newer and newer versions. But technology, especially when it comes to things that can be incorporated into a smartphone, can advance only so much in a year. So, a lot of the times, the new iPhones, despite all the wild rumors and reports that gets out on the internet through the Apple rumor mills, just seem more or less the same as the previous version. Yes, some years we do see bigger changes than the other, but every year, like 2007, there has been a new iPhone model, if not multiple new iPhone models. However, after doing the same things year after year, it becomes increasingly easy to criticize and argue that Apple isn't innovating as much as they could. And by now, it's well known that Apple works ahead on certain iPhone models as they do every year. Like right now, the iPhone 14 is going to launch this fall, but you best believe that Apple has already started working on the iPhone 15 and perhaps even the iPhone 16 to some degree, because that's just how Apple works and they have to do this to keep up with the crazy release cycle. By skipping a year, the people working on the iPhone would have more time to add more features and work on the new iPhone to make it more unique and technologically advanced when compared to the previous version. By removing a rigid timeline for the delivery of a new flagship smartphone, Apple would actually have time to innovate as well as more time to work out the bugs and make sure the iPhone experience was absolutely perfect. This can be seen with other Apple products like the Mac, iPad, Apple TV, and AirPods. All of them are occasionally delivered in similar timeframes, but not on a yearly basis. And one of the benefits of this is that Apple can make bigger generational updates because they aren't bound by a certain schedule and can work their own speed and deliver items when they want, instead of a certain month every year. And we have seen this with the Mac Studio and MacBook Pro as we are getting some wonderful Macs as Apple gives it a more flexible timeline, thus indicating that rushing things out may actually be resulting in an inferior product. Now, it's natural to have better upgrades. We all want more features and unique designs after seeing the same thing every year. It's only natural to desire something fresh and different. Take the iPhone 14 for example. When we first heard rumors about it, it seems like this was going to be the year to beat every other iPhone launch. And it seems like it was going to be one of the biggest upgrades the iPhone had ever seen. The iPhone 14 was going to bring us all these new designs. It was going to get rid of the notch. It would use new materials, new colors, massive camera upgrades, and maybe, just maybe, a USB-C on the bottom too. And as seems to be the theme every single year, the closer we get to the actual launch of the phone, the more the fantastical rumors we all got hooked on fades away and the closer we come to the reality. And as I expect, and as I expect most of you all know by now, it appears that the iPhone 14 wouldn't be all that different from the iPhone 13 or the iPhone 12 for that matter and will be essentially what we have seen for the past few years with some notable upgrades but not the massive revolutions or revamp or fresh look we were all lead to believe by the rumor mills. Now the reason why Apple does release a new iPhone every year despite not much difference between the new model and the one from the last year has a lot to do with how Apple operates in the United States. Now you see the way Apple markets and sell their products to the US market is by partnering up with cell providers such as Verizon and T-Mobile. These companies set up a plan by which they either finance fully or part of the iPhone for customers who would otherwise not be able to afford a new iPhone. These customers are usually put on a one to two years payment plan. So even when a new iPhone is released every year, they wouldn't automatically switch over as they would still have a year left. So they would usually wait another year until they are able to fully pay up their payment plan. And only then would they go for a new model of iPhone. 
This would mean that they would usually skip over a version of the iPhone. So even if a new version of iPhone wouldn't be much different from the one released a year prior, it would be an advancement over the one released two years earlier. And even if it may seem like Apple isn't likely to cancel the launch of the iPhone 14, it does look more and more likely, especially if the rumor mills are to be believed that Apple has decided to discontinue or at the very least postpone the iPhone 14 mini version. Meaning the iPhone 13 mini may either be the last versions of the mini to be released or they have decided to wait until a future model to release a new iPhone mini. The reason for this decision is apparently a lack of sales. When the iPhone 12 series was first released, Apple had great hopes for the iPhone 12 mini series. But the series performance was dismal. There were four different models. In China, sales were at an all-time low, with a huge disparity between the other three versions. The iPhone 13 mini's performance was likewise poor. According to the pattern, since its release, the iPhone 13 mini will continue to be the least popular version. And according to industry insiders, Apple had already considered dropping the mini versions due to the iPhone 12 mini's poor performance. And added with the poor performance of the iPhone 13 mini, Apple finally decided to discontinue the mini. Furthermore, Apple wishes to widen the difference between the Pro and Standard versions. And because the mini versions is incompatible with the implementations of this technique, it has to be cancelled. According to a reason by the All Things Apple expert Guo Mingqi, Apple would offer four versions of the iPhone 14. Following the cancellations of the iPhone 14 mini, Apple will release an iPhone 14 Max and an iPhone 14 Pro Max to fill the void. These phones would have a 6.7-inch display. Moreover, the screen sizes of the standard and pro versions would be harmonized in 6.1 inches. Irrespective of the screen size, the difference between the iPhone 14 Pro and the standard iPhone 14 is expected to expand even more. The difference between the two will go beyond the screen refresh rate and camera, with the Pro versions perhaps getting unique additional capabilities. Well, that's all for today folks! We hope you have found the video informative and fun to watch. Also, tell us in the comment sections your views about whether Apple should cancel or the very least postpone the launch of the iPhone 14. Do you think by having a more flexible time frame, Apple would be able to produce a better iPhone? Or do you think, even if they had an extra year, the product would still be the same? And as always, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, don't forget to hit the bell icon next to it for regular updates. Goodbye, and I see you guys.